Hey guys, it's uh, CO Mino back with uh, part 2 of Let's Play Devil May Cry 4. So I just beat Dante in a fight, and it was really annoying. So next, we will do the next mission. Time for more cinematics. There's not, the cinematics aren't this bad later on, it's just, you know, gotta get some backstory. Once we actually get into the game, there's usually one or one at the beginning and one at the end of a level, but not eight minutes of cinematics per part. You brought this here for me? Creator requested. She means to be in touch. Thanks. That's just creepy to me, I don't know why. Also, if she just brought his sword now, what was I just fighting with? Tuna Castle, huh? That's what the witnesses said. Guy just came from hell. He's gotta hit up a couple tourist sites. Just so lightly in a time of crisis? Must capture him. Trust me, I'll get it done. Please be careful. You still haven't recovered. There's no time, and duty calls. on an emergency. I must return to headquarters and report. I believe the Dante fight and some of the cinematics at the level before this are different if you have tutorials on as well. Now that I think about it. So now, puppets show up. Devil May Cry games always seem to have some form of puppets as the main enemy. Or at least the weakest enemy. Bleeding puppets. Oh, so I actually get to play now. Fantastic. I'm going to go power up first, though. So, uh, I'm going to just give you basic rundowns of stuff. I'm not going to go in-depth on explaining most things. 
Um, you can see above my health over there, I have a red souls at 33,000 and proud souls at 6,800, or red orbs at 33,000, sorry. And proud souls at 6,800. Proud souls you get for beating missions, and uh, the better score you get, the more proud souls you get. You use proud souls to upgrade your um, abilities. Red um, orbs you get from killing enemies and breaking furniture. So, uh, you know, if you have a sword, break some furniture and get some red orbs. Um, don't really do that. Uh, and you use them to buy items. So I'm gonna see if there's anything I need to upgrade still. I think there's, ooh, uh, there is one I need to upgrade still. Um, oh, no, nope. guess there isn't. Um, I don't want anything in there. That I do need. And we will do that one. Okay. And then this is the item shop. Um, you can see there's. Green stars, they give you health. Purple stars give you devil trigger gauge. Holy water hurt, does a ton of damage to everything on the screen. Blue orbs increase max health. Purple orbs increase max um, devil trigger. And gold orbs, if you die, um, you can use one to revive you. And I'm not going to buy anything right now because I'm going to save up for a purple orb. Now then, I actually get to play. Hooray. So, uh... Devil May Cry is, uh, you get a score during combat on how well you do over on the side. You can see it has a bar and a ranking, which I'm at a C right now. The better your combos string together and, uh, the more, like, varying you do stuff, like the varying attacks and stuff, the better you can get. It goes up to triple S. And uh, the more you get in there, the better, the more stylish points you get. And then the more stylish points you get, the better score you get at the end of the level. So, uh, that's how that works. Um, so, Nero has two basic, or he has, I guess, two weapons. He has his sword, which you can obviously see from uh, me cutting things, and his gun. And then he also, though, has his Devil Bringer, which uh, I can use to grab enemies like that and you do a special attack on them. Or I can pull enemies from afar. And uh, you string together combos to kill enemies, basically. So, like, I could string this dude up, pull this dude up in the air, devil bring him, dash over to this dude, knock him up in the air, do a combo up there, knock him back down, grab him, devil bringer, knock him back up. Oh, I kicked him. And then there's many different combos you can do and unlock with uh, your abilities. And those dudes drop saw blades from the sky when they die. And puppets do not. So, uh... In normal difficulties, all you fight here are these puppets. You don't fight those giant bladed dudes I was just fighting until, like, way later in the game. So that's the first difference. Also, another difference is there's about three times more enemies right there than there is in the normal game. Um, and they're harder. A lot harder. I have no idea what I'm going to commentate about for all these parts. Um, so... A lot of it will probably be more quiet than I'm used to, but uh, it'll probably be made up for later when I'm screaming and raging at the stupid game because it's impossible. So, be excited for that. So, smashing crates gives you red orbs, and if you find green orbs, they heal you. White orbs give you devil gauge, devil trigger gauge. You're not supposed to have the Devil Trigger yet, and I'm actually not supposed to be able to grab enemies from afar with the Devil Bringer yet. Those are both abilities you unlock later, and I have New Game Plus. And most of the combos I use, I got them from New Game Plus. So, keep that in mind. Change the camera. That's funny. And so these night dudes you can see that just appeared over in the corner? Yeah, you don't fight these dudes until, like, the fifth or sixth level. Like, it's ridiculous that I'm fighting these dudes here. And they're, uh, the knights of the church. And so they actually will fight the demons in the area, like the puppets. They'll actually fight the puppets with me. But at the same time, they'll fight me. Because, uh, they're kind of jerks like that. So, like, the puppets will fight them, and I'm fighting them, and they're fighting the puppets, and the puppets are fighting me, and... It's just one big old party. And they have shields, and I can break their shields, and the puppets interrupt me, and... So if I break their shields, I can grab them. You can't grab them otherwise, and they can block attacks, and then you run them through with their own lance and shoot them into walls. And it's very effective at killing them. 
Although he did not die just now. And they're actually he so heavy that I can't grab them and pull them to me. If I use the Devil Bringer on them, I actually get pulled to them instead. I'll show you if I kill this stupid puppet, dude. So like this, actually I get pulled to them. And I can grab them in the air and launch them. Take out these dudes. And if I get behind them, they can't block my attacks. Stupid freaking puppets. I'm trying to help you guys. So you saw on, when I was fighting Dante, I can rev my sword. I can rev it to up to level 3. And uh, those red things disappear when I kill all the enemies. Um, I'll show you. I can rev it up to level 3, if you can see in the top left. And then I can get, like, if I have it level 3, like... Uh, different combos will do better things like this one does different stuff depending on what level it is and I actually have an ability that if I time it r the button right right after I attack I can instant charge or insta rev entire levels at once and if I get perfect timing get all three levels at once so I need to work on that because that is extremely helpful on tougher difficulties so I've got to practice that so if you guys see me not doing it very well yell at me or something. Yell so loud I hear it in the past. That'll do it. Okay, so... This room... You... Come down here and break some chairs, of course. Get some red orbs. But if you talk to this... I guess I... Show ya. There's a scary blue skull in there. Just chillin'. It's an interesting find, right? Now all kinds of stuff happens. Glowy hand. So that's how you unlock the grab, being able to grab stuff with the devil trigger from a distance, like this. Because, like I said at the beginning, you can't do that. So, that's how you that's where you unlock it. So, it's not like I had it for very long before you unlock it anyway. But, until then, you can only grab stuff in melee. And you can also use it to catapult across chasms and pits. Alright. So, now that that's out of the way, and, like, you can grab stuff with it too. Like, grab that red orb with it. Grab items with it, if, like, through grates and stuff. So, uh, we're gonna jump across the street here and these scrolls are uh, bonus things they give you blue orb fragments if you get four blue orb fragments it makes a blue orb increases your health total I already have this one it's just kill enemies within like 20 or 30 seconds um, I don't know which ones I do have I just know I have that one because I did it earlier so if I don't know if I have it I'll at least attempt it and see if I can do it so now this part this part's normally like two puppets three puppets not these stupid giant dudes that you're not even supposed to encounter yet. So, this is fun. Let's see if I can. Uh, no! Okay. I was worried he's gonna drop a giant blade on my head and I wasn't gonna be able to get out of the way. So, I killed them without getting hit, so. I did fairly decent that time. Oh, I got hit with this blade of friggin'. Frack on a stick. Blades, man. So this is where I died when I was doing my uh, test run earlier to see how tough it is. So just as a warning, this is where it happened. That's right, I died to puppets. It was a little bit sad, actually. Actually, it's extremely sad. I should have just... That should have been a sign that I don't need to do this. Oh, yeah, and it has the stupid ghost dudes. That's why I died at this part. So I'll talk about those dudes in a second. You can see them right there. So they have cloaks, like shadow cloaks. You have to use... Oh, my goodness, there's so many enemies! You have to use the Devil Bringer to grab their cloaks. You have to use the ranged one to pull their cloaks off. But it takes like eight hits to do it on this difficulty. And until then, um, you can do damage to them, but it's very little. And it's obviously extremely difficult to hit them as they are flying in the air. And if you remove the cloaks, they fall on the ground as like little worm dudes. And they are much easier to hit and die a lot easier. 
And the problem with them is they go through walls a lot, so they become hard to... Yeah, see, they turn into worm dudes, and then... You can use Devil Bringer on them, you can use normal comp... Ah. Frick on a stick. There we go. Got him. But you can see basically what they do. You pull their cloaks off, takes like, I think, four hits. And he goes into the wall, so I can't hit him. Come out of the wall, come out of the wall, come... No, come out of the wall. Thank you. Got him. So now we can kill him. They like to get in my way, too. If there's, like, two of them and I decloak one, they like to get in my way and save the other one because they're jerks like that. Alright. So go through this door. Drop down into the street. Oh, my goodness! What did I just... Where am I? What the... There's so... What? Like, my... There's so many enemies! I don't even... What is the... Uh, Devil Trigger time, that's what it is. So this is a good use for Devil Trigger, as there's like 10 enemies just crammed up in this alley right here. And they're not letting me pass, not one bit. And uh, if I use the Devil Trigger, if I grab someone with a Devil Bringer, I, it does extra damage and, and actually it'll usually do a different attack. Usually an improved attack of the normal version. So basically you just are really awesome in Devil Trigger mo Oh my goodness. Okay, got up to S. Let's see if I can get up to double S. Double S! Triple S! Yeah! Triple S rank for me! Ah, oh, I got hit. So getting hit reduces your stylish gauge a lot. Like, I dropped like five ranks when I got hit. The more damage you take from the hit, the more it drops. So, I can't even see the enemies I'm fighting at this point. So, I'm gonna try and just devil trigger through them. Look at this, like, it's like I'm playing Dynasty Warriors Devil May Cry. It's great. And, like, ridiculous. This game, oh my, this is gonna get so bad later. Oh my, like, this is just puppets that I can just basically mow through. Some of the enemies later are bad enough on, like, the difficulty I was playing before. This is just gonna be a real crapshoot. I'm telling you guys right now, this is not going to be good to, for me. This is not going to be good for my sanity. Okay. See if I can get these puppets gone. So these red, this giant red crystal here, you beat it up, and it drops red orbs. Surprise! It drops a lot of red orbs. You can get like 5,000 out of each of those. It's pretty nice. Um... I'm actually a lot better at getting orbs out of those um, later on. I don't know if they have a set number of orbs you get out of them, or if it's based on how fast you attack, or how much damage you do, or what. But it seems like you get a pretty good amount, no matter what, out of those. And, uh... Whew, we're coming up on time here for this part. This is gonna suck. This is gonna suck a lot. Alright, so we're at the docks now, at the port. And the first thing we need to do, I believe, is come all the way over here. Shoot across this river. Alright, we're getting close to 20 minutes here. I'm going to call this the end of part 2. Um, part 3, if I finish the level, I'm going to have to cut it at the end of the level, and then go finish go start the next level to finish part three later if you get what i'm saying if not it'll make sense later so this is the end of part two thanks guys for watching and i'll see you guys in part three